Hello everyone. Let's quickly go through the previous challenging problem which I have given you in my last video before we move on to the next challenging problem. This problem says that there is an inclined plane on which you have placed a small disc and the disc was given a horizontal velocity V0. Which means that initially the angle phi was 90 degree. There is an interesting value k is equal to 10 alpha friction coefficient between disc and the incline. Why it is interesting? I'll tell you. There is one force which is act which is component of gravitational force along the incline and with that is mg sin alpha. Okay. So this is mg sin alpha along incline and it is a constant force. <coughs> I'll show you that friction which is a variable force. Magnitude is constant but direction is varying. The friction which is a variable force is also having the same magnitude that of this component of gravity. Friction force is k times mg cos alpha why because mg cos alpha is the normal reaction force here if you take two components of gravitational force then mg sin alpha is along the incline and mg cos alpha is perpendicular to incline which is balanced by normal reaction so if we replace this value k here <coughs> i'll get f is equal to mg sin alpha so friction force is also having this magnitude mg sin alpha okay so now i'll form two different equations one along the tangential direction and the other along x direction there are two forces along x direction one mg sin alpha and the second component of this force which force friction force component of friction force along x direction so on next slide we are going to form two equations <coughs> first along x direction you can see there is a force mg sin alpha along x direction and the another force was mg sin alpha cos phi this is component of friction force along x direction. The net force at, a, at an instant into dt integration from 0 to t. This will be net impulse along x direction must be equal to m into v cos phi minus 0. The initial velocity along x direction was 0. Okay. The second equation I am going to form along tangential direction. I will show you once again. This is the coin. Okay. And this is your x direction. This is velocity at an angle phi. And friction force mg sin alpha and the component of gravity along incline that is also mg sin alpha okay so now i am going to form one equation along tangential direction and the component of this mg sin alpha along tangential direction is mg sin alpha cos phi <coughs> so this force mg sin alpha cos phi minus mg sin alpha dt integration from 0 to t is equal to m times v at an instant minus v0 the initial velocity along tangential direction was v0 so you have two equations equation number one and equation number two one plus two gives you a very interesting result the lhs the sum of LHS will be 0 because the 
this part is just negative of this part you can just see it and the RHS will give you V plus V cos phi minus V naught is equal to 0 because M gets cancelled so finally you will get V is equal to V naught divided by 1 plus cos phi which is the desired result okay and the next slide we'll analyze this result so our final result is v is equal to v naught divided by 1 plus cos phi as you can see that when phi was 0 the initial velocity was v naught okay and when phi is equal to 90 degree which is the maximum possible value of phi the velocity will be v naught by 2 sorry uh, when phi was 90 v was v naught and when phi is 0 which is minimum possible value of phi v is equal to v naught by 2 and this is the final velocity Okay, so initially when phi was 90, velocity was v naught, and finally when phi is 0, velocity is v naught by 2. And this is the terminal velocity or you can say final velocity or you can say critical velocity, whatever you want to say for this particular problem. Okay, so stay tuned and wait for my next problem in the end of this video.